Hey there guys, I am TennisBubba13 and welcome to part 23 of Metroid Prime. Let's play Metroid Prime. So we are starting back at the main menu today because uh, I figured I'd show you what, what my profile percentage is and it's, as you can see, it's 100% done. The only thing left to do is just uh, scanning the remaining enemies left in the game, which I will be doing that uh, very soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back into Talon Overworld, which I pretty much off-screened after the collections video from last episode. And so, but this time we're not just starting in Talon Overworld. We're going to start back from our spaceship, which is we haven't really seen that from a while. So it's kind of cool to see me jump out of a spaceship and be like badass, because it's pretty much the final journey, almost the final step towards our victory so we need to go all the way back to the artifact temple because we last time as I stated we collected all the ch uh, Chozo artifacts and we are just ready to see what lies behind impact crater shall we first off I didn't want to see this stupid thing again I was like yeah I, th I think I should have turned those off because at this point on it's pretty much getting close to the end of the game so we are pretty much ready to kick ass. We got all the missiles. We got all of the expansions. We are just ready to kick ass and chew bubblegum. But this time, we got po the plasma beam to pretty much deal with everything we can. <laughs> um, and I'll probably be honest, I might just use the plasma beam throughout uh, what's coming up later. So, uh, so that's pretty nice. And this door right here just takes forever to open like the longest loading thing ever um, I'm pretty sure they fixed that I don't know if they because I haven't played the trilogy version yet and I don't have it so I always want to see if they actually fixed that but uh, if they have then who knows but we are going back into the lovely peaceful music of the artifacts ruins it's so cool I am ready Samus is ready let's do this shit already we don't want to waste any time and with all the artifacts at her possession, these artifacts now have a home. A lovely peaceful home. I must say, it lights everything up like it's pretty much awesome. Oh god. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh, it's so nice and beautiful. It's like a light show. Oh crap. That music. That music, my god. Hello there, Meta Ridley. Long time no see, uh, hasn't it? It's funny because you were just showing up at the very end. You just love when you ruin my plans now, don't you? Oh, hey, hey, dude, dude, dude. That's not very nice. Uh, he's a he's really aching for a fight now, isn't he? Oh, I can't escape. No, I'm trapped. Oh no! But anyway guys, we have got the final, or second final boss in this game. One of the more iconic villains in this series of Metroids is Meta Ridley, even though this is his metal form uh, of Ridley because I think we had some problems with him in older Metroid games. So that's pretty much why he's back from the dead. So, kind of scary, but you know, he's just ready to die. He's so ready to die. And uh, like I said, I am going to be using Plasma Beam for this. Um, I would use Super Missiles for this, but I feel like Plasma Beam pretty much does like the same amount of damage against this guy. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm not like really sure, but I, I uh, normally when I fight him, I use Super Missiles, but uh, I want to save up my missiles because um, of the area that we're going to later is going to require so much of our missiles. So that's pretty good. I always wondered if I can actually... Eh, I'm not sure if I can get him. But he's just basically going to drop some of these bomb things at you, whatever he flies by across you. Uh, he can also destroy those pillars just so he can get um, extra de uh, uh, health if you ever need it. So and Then he has a couple of close combats, but he's mostly going to rely on his air momentum. Just air mobility, perhaps, is the better word. <laughs> so... I don't even get how he can damage me from there. Like, I always wanted to see how you avoid that, but I guess you're pretty much going to take a hit. Take a hit for the team. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't fly off. 
God damn it, get back here. So, you can always stay locking onto him, just so that you can, like, avoid his incoming attacks. Or what I usually try to do is go for, just run away with the mist, uh, morph ball. It might work sometimes, I don't know, because there's that little, little spot in the front there you can kind of crouch and cover. But it, it, it kind of works, I would say. Anyways, let's keep shooting him in the chest. Because that's his weak spot. The chest. Aim for the chest. Or just aim for the open spots. As Man, Peppy would be proud. <laughs> oh well. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I wonder if I can try to hit him with uh, missiles here. Ooh, excuse me. That was like a hiccup and a burp. <laughs> that was so disgusting. I'm, I, I apologize. <laughs> um, so the missiles didn't quite work. So I'm just gonna keep using plasma beam then. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Is he gonna pop up anytime soon? Yep. Oh god. See, look at him. He's already like halfway through his health meter, and this is only his first phase of the fight. Just so you know. Um, but oh, I had my perfect opportunity to get him, but I missed. Oh, I missed. So uh, as for this let's play is going, like you know, I've always debated. Like if I wanted to do this on hard mode, I beat it on hard mode before, and it was actually really tough. Not gonna lie, like Meta Ridley in this form in hard mode is so intense. Um, and so are the other bosses in the game. But I I don't know. I kind of like wanted to be a little bit more easy on myself and to attempt a playthrough of the normal mode, even though I've seen a bunch of people doing it on hard mode. Most of my LP -er buddies who have LP'd this game have done so on hard mode, and it's not so bad. Uh, but it, it can get kind of tough for the enemies, for sure. Uh, I'll give you that. Um, but... Oh, wow, now he's damaged. Now he's gone to his second phase of the fight here. Which is, his wings are going to get destroyed! Oh yeah, so now it's ground movement time. And, oh crap, get out of the way! Get out of the way! I just always remember that one attack right there. That's like, the attack that always gets me trouble when I first played him. <laughs> it's like, he just does like this weird lunge attack at Jis. And uh, I always wanted to see, I'm trying to shoot him in the mouth because I, I heard it was, I don't know if it might be in this version or it might be in another version of Metroid Prime, but you want to try to shoot him in the mouth when he's like all glowy like that. Um, and if you actually can, you can repeat this several times just to get enough damage on him. But later on, he's just gonna keep repeating that stupid shoulder charge thing. He's gonna use tackle! And it's not very effective. Because I'm dodging like a pro! If only Piccolo was here. <laughs> Alright. So he's just keep on, you know, headbanging himself. And I'm just gonna keep shooting stuff all, all in his mouth. Like so. Uh, charge shots would be kind of effective. Because... Obviously, it does a lot more damage. And oh my god, we gave him a heart attack. <laughs> oh, crap, and he's getting faster. He's getting faster. That's kind of scary. And also, uh, when he does that little tail thing, like, double jump, like, instantly. I would just, like, double jump the moment he, like, turns at your shoulders or whatever. Ow! Dude! Ow! Okay, just for that, you're going to die right here. Alright, this is it. This is it. Oh, come on, I didn't get him. That's not fair. Alright, there we go. Charge shots. Keep doing it. Alright, I think I got this. I got this right here. Oh my god, one more hit, one more hit. One more charge shot. Yeah! I feel great! And so does Samus. Ooh. You're, you're... Oh man, you're gonna get it now. The Chozos are on my side, bitches. There she goes. Oh. Finally. Hey, it's the Chozo Ghost Buddies. Remember how I hated you? Well, now they're actually helping me. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, right? And, ooh, they created a portal just for us. Alrighty. Oh, I, can't, I can't scan it. Oh, whatever. So, let's do it, guys. Let's go inside this portal and enter probably the last area of this game. Impact Crater. How I have such fond memories of you. 
I sure do. <laughs> but anyways, here we are. This is what the impact crater looks like. And through here on air, there's going to be all these red doors and a save station. Which I wouldn't mind saving. No. Let's go ahead and save up and get my little bit of health back. Ah, yes. Now I feel fresh and great! And now I'm ready to take action. So, the last couple of things you want to scan... Of course, not this in general, but this is a little bit different than Phazon. And even though you have the Phazon suit, you are going to take damage if you fall into that thing. So, I would just highly suggest staying away from that thing. Uh, and then these little guys right here are the last creatures. Uh, Lumagex. I can't even say them right, but they're Lumagex. Uh, these guys are only exclusive in uh, uh, in the Impact Crater. They're kind of like the, uh, the Scarabs, but they travel packs of groups, but they're not really that much of an issue. Just I have just avoid them. And oh my goodness, I so do not like this room because of these little fuckers right here. These little guys are known as Fission Metroids. These are the most annoying Metroids in the game by far because the way that they have is by uh, splitting up into certain weapons in the game that you have. So they split up as you can see. The red ones obviously are the, uh, of course, the uh, plasma beam, and the ice beam is the white ones, and then so on and so forth. Yellows are power beams, uh, purple is uh, wave beam. And I should say, these guys are kind of respawning like crazy, so I'm just getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't like you guys. And they're just gonna chase me throughout this, oh my god, it's so scary. But, uh,. You can also take care of these guys if you don't want to waste uh, time like having them split up. You can also just uh, get rid of them with a power b or a bomb. Which, alright, let's just get rid of you already because I know for a fact you're going to bug me. There we go. Didn't even stand a chance. At this point of the game, I really want to just waste my power bombs because power bombs in, in this last boss or so is not going to be effective at some point. And. Here is a missile station, just in case, which... <laughs> I don't even know why I did this, because my missiles were already filled up. So... Oh well, too bad. But let's just keep on going here. Anyways. I like how there's, like, fishes in this area, like that little thing on the left there. It's, uh... It's pretty weird, I must say. Alright, power bomb, you go away. I don't like you guys... At all. So I'm just gonna keep hopping. Keep on hopping, try not to- OH MY GOODNESS, NO! NO! Ugh, <laughs> this is why I hate these guys so much. <laughs> they try to bump me off and they won't let me live. <laughs> Fine. Come here, you, power bomb. Oh, dude, dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so let's just keep trying this again. Oh my goodness. And they respawn too, FYI, so you might want to hurry up and get out of here. And by you, I mean me and those of you who are playing along. But, oh well. <sighs> jumping up platforms. Gotta keep on jumping. Jumping, jumping. Alright. You guys are just annoying me, so, you know what? Have some of this. Ha. Take that. And I got two of them. Alright. Uh, let's keep on doing this way up here gotta just not worry about those fission metroids anymore and I'm starting to run low on power bombs so yeah that's why I need to hurry up <laughs> alright so up here there's the last door across this side here hurry up get there no no don't even dare no thank god okay up here we got a little uh, spider ball track se section and what lies behind this door, who, na who may knows? I might just be a cliffhanger spoiler and stop right here. So until then, in the finale of Metroid Prime, we are going to go inside this door and hopefully whatever awaits us. Until then, see you guys later.